She's about uh, she's about 11 months old. Uh, fun fact about this bird: back in uh, back in June, she actually broke her right wing right below the shoulder out in Colorado. And the Colorado Veterinary College told me they were not convinced that she was ever going to be able to fly. Nine thousand dollars later, we have a partially uh, cybernetic eagle owl. <laughs> but I think we can all agree that she just flew, right? That counts. So now. For me, this is what's called a European Eagle Owl. And for me, these are one of my favorite types of owls to work with for a number of reasons. They are one of the largest owl species we share on the planet. Go ahead, go to mama. There you go. Give her a big round of applause. Now, getting, getting young Eagle Owls like Lilith here to actually figure out that they can uh, fly to the glove of the ugly two-legged guy uh, rather than follow him around on the ground like a puppy dog, which is what she's done for the majority of her life so far. Um, it does take a little bit of time. And one of the most important things I can tell you about working with owls, uh, besides the fact that it takes a tremendous amount of time and patience, is that some people forget that when you're dealing with these guys, much like when you're dealing with eagles, you're dealing with them on their timeline. We as humans don't get to decide when the bird's gonna be ready to go. It's all up to them ultimately. Now, one of the things that's very important to me with young birds is that they feel comfortable in the environment. And I think we can all agree Renaissance fairs are a little funny, right? A little strange. So they tend to help us create bulletproof birds. Give Lilith a big giant round of applause. So this back and forth to the perch, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is uh, actually for two main reasons. One, it's helping her figure out that she, uh, that she can indeed get up off the ground and actually fly to a target. But also, it's to help strengthen the muscles on that side of her body where she broke her wing. Uh, it's actually going to help her out long term. Baby, give her a big giant round of applause. Good job. All right. So you guys want to see her do that one more time? Yeah. All right. Go chase the mama. Baby, go to the mama. Give her a big giant round of applause. Now, this is not the uh, this is not the first eagle owl uh, that I've ever had in my show. Uh, how many of you um, are fans of a wizard by the name of Harry Potter? All right. Well, if you are, then uh, you are. Uh, fully aware and actually know uh, one of my other Eagle Owls. He was actually in the opening sequence of the first film and he was Draco Malfoy's owl. Um, and before you yell at me, I didn't pick him. So back off Gryffindor. All right, let's go ahead and say goodbye to Lilith. Everybody say bye Lilith.